yogis. Today we're going to do a very quick sequence for kiddos. Um, this is an animal themed sequence and my own kiddo is going to help us out here. So we're going to do about 10 animals or so. Um, all ages welcome. Little ones come join us. Big ones join us too. We are going to start out standing up for a giraffe pose. So when you think about giraffes, you think about really, really tall animals. So we're gonna breathe in and raise our arms overhead and then stretch up on our tippy toes. Think about a giraffe trying to get something off the top of the tree and come down. And take a nice deep breath. And reach again for that top of the tree. Up on tippy toes. And one more giraffe. Reach. Grab that tallest leaf. And back down. Next, we're going to do a meerkat. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me, and Aubrey's going to stay straight. What's her name? <laughs> we're going to bend our knees and bring our hands up like a meerkat. And then stretch. And then come back down. down. Okay, next is our elephant pose. So step your feet really wide apart. Wider, wider, wider. And make a tree, make your elephant trunk and swing. Not that wide, <laughs> silly. Swing that elephant trunk. Swing, 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 swing. Keep breathing while you're swinging. Okay, stop your swinging and make sure you're not dizzy. Now we're gonna do a flamingo pose. So flamingos stand on one foot, right? So we're just gonna bring one foot up and out like a flamingo. And hold it as long as you can. And if you fall down, that's okay. Okay, step both on back, back on both feet. Okay, now your other flamingo. See how sturdy your flamingo is. Is he nice and still or is he wobbly? Okay, and come back down. Now we're gonna do a you should come back down. gorilla pose. So step your feet really wide again and bend your knees a little and go up like a gorilla. Up like a gorilla. Up like a gorilla. One more set. Oh strong gorilla. Oh strong gorillas. Okay, now we're gonna come down exactly onto our back and we're gonna be a bug. Ooh, I hate bugs. I know, yucky bug. So you can be a still bug or you can be a wiggly bug. This is my bug. That's a crazy bug. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a ladybug. I'm a ladybug flying. So find your bug. You can even wiggle on your back. Find a, find a nice little back rub for your bug while he's stuck. I'm a ladybug flying. She's got a flying ladybug. Okay, now we're gonna rock back up. Next we're gonna do butterfly pose and all of you probably know this one already. Bring your feet together. Okay, so we're going to sit in our butterfly for just a minute. She has a good idea for us. We're going to pretend our butterfly is going somewhere. Where's your butterfly going? So we can close our eyes and we can picture where our butterfly's going. And we can tell our grown-up if we want to. Or we can just think really hard about how pretty it is. Where's your butterfly going? My butterfly is going 
to somewhere warm um, and somewhere with a pretty rainbow. My butterfly likes the rainbow. So he's found a warm spot near a rainbow. What about yours? Where's your butterfly going? My butterfly is going to California. California? To meet my favorite YouTubers. Okay, that's a good place for a butterfly to go. Now that our butterfly's there, can our butterfly be very still? Say hello to the YouTubers. Say hello to wherever our butterfly has gone. And now our butterfly can move again. And we can even fly our arms to get him where he's going. Shoo, that butterfly's gonna be tired. I'm tired. Okay, now you can bring your legs together and we're gonna be an owl for a second. And we're just gonna move our necks like an owl does. So move your neck and look as far as you can around, but don't hurt yourself. And look the other way. And twist. And the other way. And twist. And one more. Woo. Okay, that was an awesome owl. Now, come we onto a, your knees. We have a creepy owl up there, out there. We do have a creepy owl to scare away the birds and to eat our garden. Creepiest ever. Okay, if you come onto your knees, now we can be a lion. So lions, it's a really cool pose because you get to make a funny face with it, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come forward onto our hands and stick our tongue out and look up toward the sky. Ah! So you can make an ah noise like it's a dentist. Ah! Or you can make a roar, so come back. We're gonna come forward and roar. Oh, her, her roar was way better than mine. Let's do one more, one more lion. Roar. Okay, now can you bring your feet down to the ground like a squat and we're gonna be a frog. So we can ribbit, 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 one more, make it a good one, ribbit. Okay, now we're gonna come onto our hands and our knees. No. Yes, it looks so good. Okay, and we're gonna do cat cow. So we're gonna arch our back up like a mean cat. Hiss. And then the other way, like a big dip in our back, like a cow. Moo. Got us a rolling snake over here. 
That snake is out of control. Okay, we have one more pose, but we have to do it on both sides because we have two different legs. This one's called pigeon. So we're gonna come back up into our cat or our cow, and then we're gonna bring one leg up in front of us. <laughs> and we're gonna kind of put it under us. And we're gonna get all situated, there we go. So what we're actually doing is we have one leg and it's kind of up underneath us like this, but we're laying down like that. So we can be our pigeon. And then we're going to come back up and push back into our cat or our cow and then bring the other leg up Meow. like our pigeon. Pigeon on the other side. Okay, push back up, and then we're just going to come back down to a seat, cross-legged or butterfly, and we're going to think about our favorite animal during today's practice, and then we're going to make that noise. So mine was, hmm, hmm, I think mine was probably the frog, so I'm going to make a ribbit noise. Do you know what yours is? Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Okay, one, two, three. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. She's a sleeping animal. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Thank you guys for practicing with us today. We hope you enjoyed animal yoga. Namaste.